The supervolcano is showing signs of waking up, which isn't a good thing, but scientists have a plan. If you live near Naples, you know the ground breathes. Roads crack, the harbor silts up, steam billows from the earth, and a series of small earthquakes rattles windows. All of this action originates from Campi Flegre, a vast supervolcano caldera that last erupted in 1538. For years, many scientists considered these signals to be classic signs of magma movement. However, two recent studies, one in March 2023 and another in May 2025, have changed that picture. Together, they tell a sobering and hopeful story. Campi Flegre remains dangerous, but some of its most disturbing behavior may be manageable. The 2023 paper focused on carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, a gas that volcanoes release in large quantities. Carbon dioxide is important because it often increases when magma rises and begins to outgas, which can precede an eruption. In the Campi Flegre caldera, carbon dioxide measurements in the Solfatara Pisciarelli zone have increased during the current unrest, which began in 2005, reaching approximately 4,000 to 5,000 tons per day, one of the highest volcanic carbon dioxide fluxes on Earth. If one were to look solely at that trend, one might conclude that magma was moving upward and the countdown to an eruption had begun. The authors investigated further. They examined gases such as nitrogen and helium alongside carbon dioxide and compared the actual data with their model's predictions if magma degassing were the sole driver. Beginning in 2005, the gas ratio shifted away from the pure magma pattern and aligned with two surface indicators, hydrothermal temperatures and steady land uplift, known locally as bradyseism. What was adding carbon dioxide if not magma? A 2023 study suggested a second source, a hydrothermal system heating the rock itself. Simply put, hot, reactive fluids decarbonize calcite, a carbonate-rich mineral, in shallow reservoir rocks, releasing additional carbon dioxide. The team estimates that this non-magmatic source contributes about 20 to 40% of the total carbon dioxide. The discovery doesn't make the volcano harmless, quite the opposite. But it does change how scientists interpret gas alarms. <laughs> 